The neighborhood has successfully stopped a 7-Eleven from selling alcohol. It's a fight we first told you about months ago. But as News 13's Aaron Drawhorn tells us, this beverage battle may not be over yet. Aaron? Dean, not yet. Neighbors put up that fight. They've won the first round and say if there's a round two, bring it on. This is the Washington Speed Wash. This is a family-owned laundromat. We would like to keep it family-friendly. Margaret Sanchez has been working fast, petitioning, she says, to keep her neighborhood as fresh and clean as she can. She believes if the 7-Eleven at Lomas in Washington were allowed to sell booze, it'd mount to a bad stain. We have the, the homeless sleeping on the alleyway, and with them selling alcohol, we're just going to have more. Last week, the city of Albuquerque zoning hearing examiner denied the convenience store's request to sell alcohol, citing a slew of concerns from the neighborhood. I was really excited. I sent an email out to the few hundred people we have on our email list uh, who've been fighting this campaign. Victor Francisco Lopez is executive director of Learner's Chess Academy. If alcohol starts getting sold there, I would expect to see what you see at a lot of other 7-Elevens where alcohol is being sold, which is a lot of vagrants coming by hanging out, drinking beer, begging for money. The convenience store can appeal. They've argued they wouldn't sell minis or 40s, so customers will not drink on the premises. Also pointed out Lomas is a major arterial road and noted if they got their way, it would reduce traffic of people buying alcohol elsewhere. If that day ever came, Sanchez's next move. I know with Learner's Chess Academy, we would seriously consider moving. For now, this Washateria is doing what it can to keep the 7-Eleven dry. It's a very nice community. It's nice to be around. The people are friendly. We just don't need it. Convenience store reps have never responded to our request for an interview or comment. Didn't again today. As of today, the city says they have not filed that appeal. Dean, back to you. All right, Aaron, thank you. Now, the applicant, Southwest Convenience Stores LLC, has until next Thursday to appeal.